Hello, it's Dale Snyder, CEO of Team Driven Real Estate at Keller Williams Realty here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So, topic of today's discussion is where should I invest in real estate? Where are the opportunities in today's real estate market? So, we're going to dive into that and we're going to break it into two sections. One, this is a cash on cash conversation. And two, this is a passive income opportunity down the road, i.e. a retirement strategy for passive income. So before we dive into those two conversations, first I just want to go through some basic information with you of what we're seeing. So I'm going to go through these slides with you here now. All right, so when you look at this first slide, this shows the rental rates historically since 1988. If you're already an investor, you're seeing the opportunity right here because your rental rates have gone up, haven't they? If they haven't, it might be time to renegotiate your lease. Secondly, take a look at this slide. This shows interest rate projections. So notice where they have Q1 at 4.1%. Well, we're above that. 4.4 is where they're projecting it in Q2 of 18. Well, we're there already, my friends. So we're projecting interest rates to be going up about a point this year. So keep in mind, for every point, you're an average of $180 per month more in mortgage payment. Right? So that's something to factor in with what we're seeing here. 15-year rates are about you know, 3 tenths, 4 tenths lower. So that's stuff that we can dive into later on uh, when and if you decide to invest in our market. Now let's look real quickly here at appreciation by state. I love this infographic. So you can see here that Nevada went up 10.8% in 2017. The only state in the union that appreciated more was the state of Washington uh, due to Seattle. It's booming. All right, last slide to quickly look at here. This one here. So... 8.3% appreciation rate is what we see uh, for the, the state of Nevada. 8.4% for California. There's some tax implications and some tax changes that have happened that could skew those numbers as well. Reach out to me if you want to have some dialogue inside uh, the, the tax implications. Okay, all right. So, two strategies, right? One is merely a cash on cash, right? Meaning, if I put... $1,000 or $100,000 into the market, what's the direct cash on cash return that I'm going to get, right? So I'm here to tell you right now, if you're looking for cash on cash return, uh, that was 2011, 2012, right? That was when you were buying wholesale from the banks, right? So some of you bought those, but I'm pretty certain a lot of you were a little concerned, scared, caught up in the emotions of, well, am I going to be able to rent the properties? Prices are going to keep going down. I mean, it was doomsday, right? However, the ones that were the, the, the um, investors that have ever, maybe been in the game longer, or they looked at the cost to build, you were buying stuff well below replacement cost, right? So I had an investor that put $1.6 million into the market back then. Now he has $2 million in equity position and getting a 10% net monthly income. $260,000, grand a year in gross rental income from his $1.4, $1.6 million and getting $280,000 back annually in rental income gross. Right? So that's another conversation, right? Uh, and there still is some great cash on cash opportunities. It's just not in our market, right? You know, if, you, if you're interested in Illinois, Detroit, some areas of Texas, North Florida, I mean, there are markets where you can come in there and, and still purchase homes at 100 grand, 120 grand, you know, and, uh, and put a tenant in 25, 30% down, cash flow it, and, and the numbers make sense there, right? So the conversation for Vegas really is, What's your investment strategy for retirement? Like, where's your passive income coming from, right? So this is a 10, 15, 20 years down the road conversation, right? So as we talked about, interest rates are still low, but they are ticking up, right? So you may need to pay cash on the front end and refinance on the back end to pull some money out to where you can leverage and buy more property. Because you know, most, most investors today are looking at a 15-year mortgage type of scenario and paying those off in 10 to 15 years. However, making a cash offer on the front end to get that offer accepted in today's highly competitive market. Right. So in closing, 
We have helped many investors create wealth through real estate and passive income opportunities. So whether you're considering investing in Vegas or you're looking at other markets, reach out to me. We've worked with a lot of sophisticated investors over the years, and we're currently helping a lot of our past clients accumulate passive income and a diversified investment strategy. I mean, look what happened with the stock market, right? Is the stock market peaking? Is it going to go down? You know, it's, we've been on a nice uphill ride, right? So a lot are, are transitioning that money into residential real estate properties. This is Dale Snyder, CEO of Team Driven Real Estate here at Keller Williams Realty. So if you're having thoughts of investing, reach out to me. I'd like to have an informative uh, conversation with you to see where the best opportunity lies for you and your family. Have a great day.